What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob, doing the Gold Spot nine-year-old. This one was bottled in 2022. It is 51.4% aged in ex-bourbon, ex-sherry, ex-port, and ex-bordeaux casks. Okay, um, I couldn't find anywhere if there was older whiskey in this one, but I would assume that there is considering it's more expensive than the Blue Spot. And the Blue Spot originally had 21 year old whiskey in there. I don't know if it still does, but a lot of people really actually like the new version of the Blue Spot better than the old version of the Blue Spot. So I'm assuming that it still does have some older whiskey in there. Uh, it says at least nine years, that doesn't prevent them from putting older stuff in here. So I don't know exactly, but I would assume maybe even up to 15 years old in here. Gonna nose it, taste it, give it a mark. Okay, so like most of the spots, definitely very rich on the nose. Get a lot of fruit-like notes. This is single pot still. Really, really nice, uh, like blueberry kind of note coming from, I think, the Bordeaux casks. Could even be the port pipe that it's coming from, or the port pipes. Unchill filter, no added color, all those fun things. Really, really nice nose. Almost candied like nose. Definitely getting a lot of blueberry. On the palate. Not a lot of heat up front, but it warms up on the back end. <clears throat> rich it's better than I first when I first opened it it's definitely uh, opened up a little bit like a syrupy almost texture to it Almost like a blueberry syrup. Like cooked down blueberries. Maybe other types of berries in there as well. A vanilla cake kind of note on the finish. <clears throat> like a birthday cake kind of note. Yeah, like a pound cake almost. Vanilla, maybe a touch of like milk chocolate. <clears throat> but definitely that blueberry note is predominant. This was available at the LCBO. Uh, it's a bottle split for me and my buddy Paulo. Really good stuff. Um, probably about 175 bucks if I remember correctly as far as price goes, which tells me that there probably is older stuff in here because it's more expensive than the 15 year old. I know it's cash strength and the LCBO charges a number for anything above 46%. Um, but that being said, it's still nine years old. Hmm. 
Yeah, I would I would say that there's probably older whiskey in here, maybe up upwards of 15 years old. Probably not much more than that. The base is nine. It's good. Is it something that I'm gonna like be drawn to go back to? Probably not. I think I like the blue spot better than this, to be honest with you. Uh, I can't remember exactly what I scored the blue spot, but this with my new marking system will seem like it's much less. Um, I wouldn't say that it, this is uh, that much less uh, in quality than the blue spot, but it is to a degree. I think I, the blue spot was more inviting, more of a whiskey that I wanted to go back to. So for all those reasons, I'm gonna give this one an 83. I think it's very good. Um, would I buy it again? Definitely not, not at that price. I think it's a one and done kind of try thing. Uh, this is the 135th anniversary version. I'm not sure if they're gonna do another one. Uh, it's possible and maybe it'll improve like the blue spot has. But for now it's an 83. So according to my old scale, that would probably be an 85 if you're keeping tally here. Um, so still not significantly uh, a great score according to some of the stuff that I've done. It's good. I know I haven't said too much negative about it, but I guess for the price, the hype, and all those different things, it's just one of those whiskeys that I, it'll probably get lost on my shelf, to be honest with you. And I'm noticing that's happening more and more uh, these days. Whiskeys that I just have no interest in going back to sit on my shelf for a very long time on this left side here, uh, or at least my left side here. And they end up sitting there until I either give them away or have big parties and people want to try different things. Uh, the stuff that I really, really, really enjoy tends to go a little bit quicker. But even now with all the stuff that I have to review on my right here, uh, I don't even get to go back to the stuff that I really enjoy either. So uh, this is sat on the right side for a while and nothing really called me back to it. So I have to factor all that in and that's why this is an 83 for me. Uh, good, not great. Would I buy it again? Probably not, definitely not at that price. That's it for me guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked the video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and you can support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.